Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good weekend. Happy Sunday, even though Sundays are whatever. But we got a good one today. We got the sketchiest day ever as a delivery driver. Or my sketchiest day as a delivery driver. And it was terrible. It really was. It. Long story short, and I, it, trust me, there's some good details in this story. But this dude I showed up to, super sketchy motel. And he ordered um, he ordered Jimmy John's. I was the driver. And the dude, you'll hear, he got banned from ever ordering delivery again, right? So I'm working delivery for Jimmy John's. And usually I would work, I don't know, three or four days a week. But I would work nights, right? And it would be busy and I would get good tips. And I honestly liked it because I'd do that for a couple hours, right? Or not a couple hours, but I'd do it for like a six-hour, eight-hour shift. Sometimes four, anything between four and eight hours, right? Just do a shift drive and get tips. It'd be fun. And they'd pay for gas, right? Well, on this day, I'm delivering. It's like a Friday or Saturday night. And we take deliveries up to 10. And my town is not sketchy, right? But there are like two places that it's like, okay, I'm sure the people living here aren't great. You know, just the houses aren't great. Or it's like a motel or something, right? But not judging the people. Just you get what I mean. Um, And I get a delivery like right as we're about to close or start closing down the store, right? And it was for this motel. And it's the crappiest one in town, right? Super cheap and like bad things have happened there before. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I was one of the last drivers there. I was like, I can go do it. So I drive out there and I park and I was like, man, this place is not nice. And it was dark, right? And a bunch of the lights are out. It just, it smelled gross. It smelled like drugs that I couldn't identify, right? It just smelled not nice there. Probably just gross shit. So I'm walking around and I have to go to the back side of the motel, right? Which on the other side is a four. So it's just creepy. It's dark. It just feels like you're going to get murdered while you're there, right? Super sketchy. And I go back to the room number I'm supposed to go to and I knock on the door, right? And the guy opens the door and it's a super old dude and he's completely naked, right? And I don't know about you guys, what you would do in that scenario, but I just looked at him and I was holding the food and I threw the food in the door and I slammed the door and I turned around and just walked away. I didn't give a fuck about the tip and I'm pretty sure the guy already paid by card so it wasn't a big deal. Like, Well, obviously that's a big deal, but the, the money thing, like the money didn't matter. Even if I had to pay for the sandwich, I didn't care, right? I just threw it. I was like, that's disgusting. And like I said, I don't know what you would do in that scenario, but... My eyes, I was trying not to look at anything. I was just like, get me out of here. That's disgusting, a naked old man. And I turned back and I called my manager on the way back. And I'm like, just wait till I get back. I have a story for you guys, right? And they're like, what could have happened, right? And there was like three of us at the store. And I get back and I tell them what happened. And they grab the guy's number and they write it down. And we're like, oh, this is ha something like this has happened before. He probably thought you were a girl or thought you were going to be a girl, right? And he's like, that's really creepy. And he's like, we're going to call the cops and we'll make sure that he can't call delivery places anymore. And we're like, really? I was like, really? And I'm like, oh, nice. And the kid working there, he, our manager was a little bit older than us. He kind of told us how it would go down. He's like, yeah, when people do creepy, nasty shit like that, like, yeah, we can write their number down and give it to the cops or just not make sure they can't call here again or anywhere else. Right. So I was like, that's pretty cool. But ew. Ew, I did not want to see that shit. Like, just imagine me, right? I'm a stoner. I just, the only reason I was working that job is because, one, I wanted money for carts, right? Because I was buying on the street, and they were pretty cheap. And I would, what usually my shift, I would bring my cart with me. I would just finish my shift. I would get all my tip money. And that's not even the paycheck. That's just the tip money. I would go buy carts with whatever tip money I had. So I just had a kind of a surplus of carts. And as soon as work ended, I would just get high as shit and then hang out with my girlfriend and spend money on either food or like fun things to do. So I literally, I had no responsibilities then. Like I could do whatever I wanted. So it was super fun. But so imagine I'm in that mindset, like, oh, I'm happy, you know, listening to Dope is Yola, listening to podcasts and stuff. I'm like, only nothing can ruin my day, right? Except for a couple things. And one of them being a naked old man or ordering a sandwich and I have to open the door. He opens the door and I see a naked old man like, oh, ew, right? But I did the right thing. I just threw the sandwich in, slammed the door and walked out. I was like, I want no part of that. I could have called the cops, but I just told my manager right away. I was like, I... Ugh, what are you even supposed to do there? But anyways, thank you for watching. Please sub, please share if you enjoyed. Um, Happy Cinco de Mayo, I think, right? I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah, there you go. Hope you guys all have a good day. 
And if you ever need anything, you can comment, I'll answer, or you can DM me on Instagram because my Insta is attached to my, like, about me or the YouTube info, channel info. So you can DM me and I'll answer. Either way, you're not alone. Thank you for watching. Be safe and peace out.